Welcome to Lotus Health Education and Wellness Empowerment Through Health Enlightenment. Today's video is the next in the series as part of the overall advanced lipid panel video where we're going to be talking a little bit more today now about the specific components of the advanced lipid panel. We'll begin by looking today at the particle number and size and talk about why they're so important. And as always, remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already following our content for more updates on everything that we'll be covering here on Lotus Health Education and Wellness. And as usual, while we appreciate all of the trust that you put into us and our healthcare information, remember that while this is for guidance, it is also only informational. You should always consult with your healthcare team about any of the topics that we cover here, as well as any of the discussion that you may have with us in the chat. Don't forget to put a comment in the section below and we're gonna have some great information throughout all of these videos in the comment section. You'll also find just above that our description that's gonna have great links to resources, all of the references we use for our videos here and further information detailing some of what we cover in the video. So let's jump right over into the actual components of the advanced lipid panel today and look a little bit at the particle number and particle size. With regards to your advanced lipid panel, they use, again, your basic lipid panel, which is your LDL, HDL, triglycerides, and total cholesterol as the foundation for building the house, if you will, of that additional image of your heart and what is going on with your heart. So when you get a basic lipid panel, that's going to provide general information about how much fat you have circulating in your blood, about how much cholesterol content you may have in your blood, and those good cholesterol particles, which again is your HDL. But even beyond that, when we order an advanced lipid panel on patients, it gives us a lot more information. Starting with this first section, which is about the particles. Your lipids are exactly what that number and that name suggests. They're particles, and there's a lot of them floating around inside of your body. So when we take a look at the advanced lipid panel, one of the first things that we look at is the particle number and the size of the particles that you have within your blood. We'll take a look at the total volume of these cholesterol particles, and this is again your bad cholesterol that we're looking at in terms of the particle number to see the actual volume of the cholesterol floating around in these little balls, for lack of a better way of describing them, within your bloodstream and making their way all over your body. Most of us think of blockages and plaque formation and the buildup of your lipids just around your heart. We've actually found that in women, when you have certain types of imaging done of your breast, you can actually see similar to what we look for in a mammogram to detect breast cancer, there are actually cardiologists that specialize in areas where we can see the buildup of these lipid particles in other areas of your body. The vessels around the breast tissue are one of those other places that we can see signs of cardiovascular disease by having you undergo a procedure similar to a mammogram and it will light up basically these areas that have blockages from these LDL particles. So when we talk about the particles, this gives us a good idea, not necessarily of that specific thing with the breast tissue, but just in general, how much LDL you have floating around within your body. Clearly, the higher the number is going to be the more concerned that we are, because that's telling us that if you have a high particle number, you've got a lot of these cholesterol particles floating around within your body. After that, we're gonna focus on the size of these particles. So again, where your basic lipid panel just tells us essentially the volume or quantity of that cholesterol within your system, we now wanna know in addition to the particle number or how much of this we have floating around, what size they are. The reason why this is important is that the small particles of LDL are the ones that we're really concerned about. If you think about that cross section of the vessel again that we were looking at at the start of the video, you'll think about the fact that if you are trying to put rocks of a different size within a tube, it's gonna be very difficult to fit a larger rock into that tube and that block it up. 
you may be able to push and shove and, and maybe get a little bit of that rock through the tube, but depending on the size of the tube that you're talking about, which in this case is your blood vessel, it's going to be very difficult for you to push a lot of those larger rocks in there. But if you have smaller rocks, which in this case are our small LDL particles, you can picture that a lot of those are going to be able to pack their way into that vessel and then you're going to end up with a problem. So the more small LDL particles that you have, this is where it becomes concerning. The medium size, we pay attention to those, they are concerning, but again, by far, the small LDL particles are where we're going to have the most worry. Depending on the particular lab that you work with to get your advanced lipid panel done, for the third component of the advanced lipid information for particle number and size, they may give you the large LDL count. In this particular case, the lab that we work with for our results gives back a result regarding the HDL particle size, in this case, the a volume of HDL large particles. There is a bit of back and forth in the cardiology community as to what role, if any, the HDL particle size plays in the overall lipid panel, in the advanced panel's perspective. However, in this particular case, for the benefit of this video, the idea here is that similar to how the HDL provides some protective benefits in your basic lipid panel evaluation, in the advanced panel, having a larger quantity of the large HDL particle is supposed to provide protection from having your LDL undergo a process that can turn it into an even more harmful substance and allow it to undergo a different type of breakdown and processing. Then after that, we have the particle pattern, where a pattern A or pattern B is what we will take a look at. These different patterns basically tell us about the different collection, if you will, just in general from typically a blood sample that we will take of you of the different size particles that you have. So if you have mostly the large uh, lipoprotein with some medium size and maybe a little bit of the small relative to the overall volume, you will more than likely have what's referred to as a pattern A of your LDL. And that's the one that we would prefer for you as the patient to have. Pattern A is considered the better one because in general, when you have pattern A, that means that when the person that performed that analysis on the blood sample that is sent to the lab, they see in a ratio, essentially, a larger collection of the pattern of large and medium size LDL to the small LDL in your blood. If you have more small LDL particles and not as much of the medium and larger size, then you may end up with the pattern B, which is the more concerning because again, the more of those small LDL particles overall that you have is the increased likelihood that you're going to have a blockage building up inside of that tube or your blood vessel essentially in this case and those smaller rocks are going to fit their way in there and basically slow down the blood flow and start slowing things up in your system in general and increase your risk for a heart attack or a stroke. We hope that you enjoyed today's video. Remember to keep on watching for all of the additional installments that give you the different segments of the advanced lipid panel and for the comprehensive video that we're gonna be posting very soon with all of the information together in one so you can sit down and enjoy that great long video. But it's gonna give you some great information about how we use the advanced lipid panel to be able to help provide the best care to you as our patients. Remember again to give our video a like and subscribe if you're not already following our content. And come back here to our channel so that you can get more great information about cardiovascular health as well as a number of other topics we're making videos on. We hope to see you back here soon at Lotus Health Education and Wellness empowerment through health enlightenment. Take care.